batteries, batteries, batteries. Whatever are we going to do? Right, the Walker Rodeo 150, the stock battery is brilliant. But the biggest problem, as I've said twice already, they're too expensive. Um, 10, 11, 12 pounds, I've even seen them for 15 pounds here in the UK, which is duplicate crazy money. Anyway, so there have been a couple of other batteries that people have found and tried out. Uh, one chap on the forums, RC Groups, uh, tried a battery from Banggood.com. It was a thousand ma, and he said it was absolutely horrible. He was only getting two minute flight time out of it. So if I was you, I would not recommend you buy the thousand ma battery that will fit in the Rodeo um, because uh, it's not a very good battery. Uh, if I'm right, Mr. Cam had found a nice zippy 800 mah LiPo 20C that fits perfectly in the Rodeo. Uh, and it will give you the same flight time as you would get from the stock battery. So that's good. Now, I myself found a couple of lipos which are the zippies as well the zippy compacts um but there's a big pro there's a big problem with them the fit the 35 c batteries um they just uh because of the high c rating i think it's draining the, uh, the power so quickly out of the battery so you're not getting a lot of flight time from it at all you're probably getting about three minutes, three minutes forty, and I've even had uh, one battery that was I only get a minute and thirty seconds out of it, so it was a it was basically a dud. Um, I've been marking these batteries up. Um, I've just took the foam off the top to give a little extra room. Uh, so I can fit all the um, balance plug wires and the quad. Uh, right, so I've marked them up and what I've noticed is this. Uh, you'll see a marked number down here. This one's got RDC. Now I've marked, I'm getting about 3, 3 40 minutes out of it. Well, it's went down again even more. It's went down about 3 minutes to 3.30. So I'd bring it down at three minutes on this battery. Uh, this one here is in actual fact another 35C, but I'm getting four minutes plus. So if you notice, there's there's no marking at the bottom of the four minute plus one. Yeah, it's a 35C. So there's different batches in these lipos, okay? Uh, I wouldn't recommend any more buying the uh, the Zippy 35C uh, 850 mah batteries. Do not get the 35C because uh, you won't get much flight time out of them. So, I would recommend the Zippy 25C, but there's only one big problem with that. They're too fat. They won't fit. And I'll show you how much bigger they are. Let's have a look. Whoops. It won't fit in at all. But it will if you. I see the same one. If you take the foam, take the whole wrapping off, and underneath the wrapping you'll find um, a, a, like about a millimeter thick plastic casing. If you take that off, uh, I've overdone it here, but I've just uh, covered it all up in uh, black electrical tape. Like I said, it's the exact same battery. And it fits in with the balance plug perfectly. And I can shut that over, no problem. Okay, so the 25C is a good one to get. Give you the, uh, I'm not quite sure about taking the wrapper off the Zeppi 25C um, 
850 mAh battery. I thought I'd just show you how simple and easy it really is. Get my exacto knife and uh, well, I'll start from the bottom. And just make a little slice in it and just start pulling away at it. And you'll see it comes off quite easy. Just gently. There you go. That's, that's that off. Now this is the little plastic case and I was telling you about. Actually look to be more like two millimeters thick. Yeah, because you'll get one bit that holds the foam on, as you can see. We'll get some more light on that. And you, this is the big bit. This is the big plastic bit here, look. There you go, this is what takes up so much space. They've used it obviously for like helicopters or whatever this battery. So when they crash it's well protected. And but if you gently oops I say gently there and I drop it. You just gently remove that. And look at that. Look at how much was on that battery, what a waste. Well, not really a waste. Good for helicopters, it protecting the battery. So we're left with this. And this is what it looks like with the casing off. They uh, covered it all up in uh, black electrical tape. Like I said, it's the exact same battery. And it fits in with the balance plug perfectly. And I can shut that over, no problem. Okay, so the 25C is a good one to get. But now, I've found another battery, yet again. Uh, oh, I, I forgot to mention. Uh, you'll get the same flight time from the 25C uh, Zippy Compact as you do from the stock battery. Okay, so uh, I would go with those ones. Now, I've found another battery. Nanotech. I love nanotech batteries. Uh, I use them for everything. I think if you treat your batteries well, you break them in well, if you charge them at the right amps, then I don't see you having any problem with them. I generally charge my batteries uh, uh, 1C. You know? Uh, I always... I mean, very rarely do I charge it... 2C, 3C or 4C. Sometimes I have when I've been in a hurry, but always 1C. Uh, I think it just makes your LiPo last so much longer. Now, you're going to ask a question, does this battery fit? And guess what? It does indeed fit. Now, I did find a way to get it in there earlier. Sorry. There you go. It fits in there perfectly. There's plenty of room. You just need to figure in, uh, figure out the wiring, what way I'm actually going to put it in, uh, because I'm going to have to uh, swap the plug over. What I've noticed is um, it's a 25C, uh, but it's got a 40C burst. Now, that might be a problem. Hopefully not. Now, and I'm also hoping that we're going to get a good flight time out of this battery, just like the stock battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my XT30 plug on there. I'm going to do a couple of um, just slow flights to break the battery in, three or four flights. And I'm going to charge it up and see if it will give us the same amount of time as the stock battery will give us. And if it does, I do believe this will be the best battery to get for um, 
your little walk area. So, fingers crossed, I'm going to get all this wired up and uh, I'll be back with the results and let you guys know. Right. That's me got everything wired up. I uh, got my XT30 in there. And, right. Before I tell you the results, um, I'm going to show you how I decided to uh, fit the battery in. I decided to go with putting it in this way and pushing the balance plug all the way down. Now you need to make sure you push the balance plug all the way down because if you don't, uh, when you go to take the, the cover off, it will get stuck against that balance plug. So make sure you push it all the way down. Okay, because uh, I accidentally, when I was breaking in the battery, and the balance plug wasn't pushed all the way down, and I couldn't get, I had to give it a real good tug to get it out. But anyway, that's it, and it fixed perfectly. Um, it does come out. It's been a little bit of a pain just now. Um, but yeah, it fits. If you're not happy with the tight little squeeze that it is, you could take the foam off the bottom. That's no big problem. But anyway, okay, so is this battery any good? After the break-in, I can tell you this battery seems to be brilliant. Um, on the Zippy 25C, it... 150 ma hovering around the living room I would probably get about five minutes in a bit that's it it's funny even when I'm flying outside you get the same kind of time but where with this I got six minutes and 15 seconds until the light started flashing so I'm guessing uh, when I'm outside flying I'm gonna get five minutes plus Last thing before I go, um, I'll put links to all the batteries in the descriptions, uh, the flight times as well, in the description and where you can buy them from, okay, um, like I said, hope this video was of some help to you, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching, happy flying, and I'll catch you later.